Hello everyone. Welcome back. Today I am going to solve a problem on centroids of wires or lines. And in this problem, we have a component A, B, C, D, E, which is made of a single piece of aluminum tubing. And we have to determine the length BC so that when this is suspended from point C, the segment BCD remains in a horizontal position. Let's assume that this portion is horizontal when this component is suspended. What can we say about the location of the center of gravity? We can say with certainty that the center of gravity of this component would lie somewhere on a vertical line passing through C. The center of gravity would lie anywhere on this line. It could be close to C or could be further down. But if our origin of coordinate system is point B, then we could say that the x coordinate of the center of gravity would be equal to BC or D. And since this entire component is uniform throughout its length, we can say that the centroid and center of gravity will coincide. Let us find out the location of the centroid for this component. Let us break up the entire component into three segments AB, BD, and DE. And X bar would represent the centroid of individual segments, and capital X bar is the X coordinate of the centroid of the, this component. As we did in the previous problem, we will put in the information in a tabular form in a table like this. So, let us take first segment AB, its length is 0 0.75 meters. And its centroid would be the center point of AB. So, this is 0.75, therefore, this will be 0.75 upon 2, and this angle is 55 degree, therefore, this length would be 0.75 upon 2 cosine of 55 degree, and that is the x coordinate of the centroid of the segment AB. Our origin is point B, and this is the x axis, and this is the y axis. So, the locations of centroids of different segments would be considered with respect to these two axes. Okay. So, the x bar for AB would be equal to 0 0.75 upon 2 times cosine of 55 degree, and this will be equal to 0. 215 and therefore x bar L would be equal to 0 0.161. Now, let us take the second segment BD. The length of BD is 1.5 meters. The center point of section BD would be 1.5 upon 2. So, this will be 1.5 upon 2 and therefore will be equal to 0 0.750 and therefore x bar L would be equal to 1.125. The third segment is d e its length is 2 meters and its center point is here and therefore the x bar of this this centroid would be the distance from this point b to this point which would be 1.5 minus 1 times cosine of 55 degrees this length is 1 and therefore, this length would be 
1 times cosine of 55 degree and therefore this distance would be bd that is 1.5 minus 1 times cosine 55 degrees this will be equal to 1.5 minus 1 times and this will work out to 0 0.926 and therefore x bar l would be 0 0.926 times 2 and will be equal to 1.8 5, 2. Now we take sum of all the lengths. So sigma L would be equal to 4.25. Sigma X bar L would total up to 3.138. And therefore X bar would be equal to 3.138 divided by 4.25 and this will be equal to 0 0.738 meters. X bar is equal to D because we said that centroid will lie on a line on a vertical line passing through C, therefore X bar would be the distance BC and will be equal to D. So X bar is equal to D and is equal to 0 0.738 meters and that is the answer. So that's it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.